Okay, to find the equation of a line given the slope and a point on the line, we're going to use the point slope form. y minus y sub 1 equals m times x minus x sub 1. Let's look at an example. If the slope is 2 and our line passes through the point 3, 5, we'll plug in these corresponding values into the appropriate place of our point slope formula. When we do that, that will give us y minus y sub 1, that's the y coordinate of our point, which is 5, equals the slope of 2 times x minus our x coordinate, which is 3. Now technically this is the equation of a line that has a slope of 2 and passes through the point 3, 5. Yet we typically like to write our linear equations in slope intercept form which is y equals mx plus b. To do that we will first of all distribute the 2 and then add the 5 to both sides. At this point this is the slope intercept form of the equation y equal 2x minus 1. We can do a check by noting that the slope of this line is 2 by definition. It matches our question. We just need to verify that the ordered pair 3, 5 really is on the line. In other words, if x is 3, we better get 5 when we evaluate the equation. So as a check, we could say y equals twice 3 minus 1, y equals 6 minus 1, y equals 5. Verifying again that if x is 3, we really do get a value of 5 for y, indicating that the point 3, 5 is on the line. Let's look at another example. In this example, we have a slope of 2 thirds and an ordered pair negative 1, 4. Again, using the point slope formula, we would say y minus 4 equals 2 thirds times x minus a negative 1. Notice I used brackets here because I recognize the negative 1 value for x. As we continue to write this in slope intercept form, I will first of all subtract the negative making it x plus 1, then distribute the 2 thirds, the next step being to add 4 to both sides, recognizing that I will need a common denominator of 3. Instead of adding 4, I will add 12 thirds, which really is 4. Simplifying this, I get y equals 2 thirds x, plus 14 thirds, which should be the equation of a line having a slope of 2 thirds and passing through the point negative 1, 4. Again, we can check because the slope here is obviously 2 thirds matching our original question. We just need to verify that if x is a negative 1, we really do get 4 for y. Simplifying, we do see that we get 12 thirds for y, which is 4, completing the check.